not at the school one day, and the teacher confiscated it. He said he could have it at the end of the school. Here is ugly. This is well, ice I, think I think they're kind of cute. And we have hops, you know, and wedge head, and bath, you know, and wage. Wow. And the new hits. And your website is www.uglydolls.com. <laughs> They're the new hit. Come check our book out. I'll be there. Thanks. So Wave goodbye. <laughs> The books? Pardon me? These are so <laughs> Who's that? This is Mouse. Mouse for this. Storytelling Mouse. <laughs> you got one? Let's take more. Check out what the principal's got on the shoulder. Looks like you've been dragging all day. Oh, you sure got it. Hey, it's day three. What do you want? You know? We're trying to hold up and shoulder some responsibility. Wow, that was a fast. Beware the dreaded pirate, long hook, silver beard. Oh, okay, I don't have a name yet. <laughs> and this is my pirate ship, the SS Spittin' Lava. No, Wait, haven't grown out. Are you ready with the full shot? Yeah. Ready? Action. What is this one? It's a Louis the 15th. Come, you narrate. Come in. Okay. Um, here's the Louis the 15th. Play something. Uh, here. Limited edition. Bless she plays? Lady. She's a musical graduate. Oh, okay. This is uh, Laura playing the Louis the 15th. Yeah. What does it retail for? Chopsticks. This one. 
can hold it as I refocus. You like this one right here. Go ahead. What are these now? Um, these are limited editions along here. This is the traditional um, upright, 37 key, 3 octave piano. Give me a little play on the red. That's a new model this year with a beautiful curved legs. Perfect. <laughs> Something this short and sweet. Um, this piano right here, um, this was actually played at Carnegie Hall a couple of years ago by Margaret Lung Tan. Famous concert pianist. Here's the music. Little tiny one. Yeah. This was with a hinge top. Go ahead. This little baby grand, very popular with a two or three year old. The Lord gives just a quick demonstration of a saw tree, which is a music. I love your stuff. What, Thank you. do, what do we have here? We actually have lots of 1 to 18 scale plastic aircraft. I'd be happy to show you a little bit of the functions. Sure. Um, for example, this little F4U Corsair, made in plastic but as authentically detailed as possible. We have propellers that move. We have a cockpit that opens. Oops, I gotta turn it around so I can do it. Okay, there you go. Cockpit that opens. Pilot that fits right in there to show actual simulation. And uh, this, since this is a Corsair, the wheels and the uh, cockpit's actually open and closed. You can see the wheel compartments. See the wheel right in there. I can pull that out if you wanted to make it land. Oh, show me this baby. Oh, you want that one? Yeah. Um, actually, I can't take this one off because it's stuck, but let me show you. Who is that? Guy? This is a T38. What? Everything uh, rotates on it actually as authentically detailed. It, the rotors only go one way, just like in the real aircraft. Oh, this guy's beautiful. Thank you. This is actually in 05, our very first move into modern jets. This is the F-104 Starfighter. Um, it's going to have all the capabilities as our other aircraft with the opening cockpit. This is a prototype, so unfortunately not all the functions are workable at the moment. But I'd be happy to show you the detailing. We have the no-step zone. No-step zone right on here, and also the tempo printing. And we even have six inches of detail worth of inside the fuselage where the fire actually comes out to power the jet. Beautiful detail. How did this sell? Oh, this is actually one of my uh, biggest projects this year. Sky Captain in the World of Tomorrow. This actually just got released this year. And the movie's been uh, on DVD for a little bit now. We actually have paired up with Paramount Pictures. We did specialty limited edition packaging with scenes from the movie itself. We did the uh, aircraft, which is right over here. Oh. I'm happy to show you. This is Sky Captain's P-40 Warhawk. You see the shark mouth? The propellers move, cockpit opens and closes, and even has the detailing of the wording right over there for those that have seen the movie. And of course the wheels go up and down, they can walk and walk in. Um, let me show you this one. This is actually a very highly anticipated product. This is the TBM Avenger. This was the aircraft that was flown also by George Bush Sr. As you can see, we've actually gotten the engineering down where the wing even locks down just like the actual Grumman aircraft. It actually folds back, which is the special feature of the Northrop Grumman. Cool. There you go. And two other licensed properties that we have here. Oh, that's the P-51. We have a bridge too far. We're working with MGM Studios doing all the different vehicles from the movie, the retro
Retro movie, and this is Platoon. We're going to be doing the action figures, the shark mouth Huey, and also specialty packaging from Platoon itself. Huh. Okay. These are the very first paint master heads that we have um, approval for. This is a, uh, we're hoping that everyone can recognize who we are, but uh, this is William Defoe. <laughs> Beautiful duty. Thank you. For scale, we're very excited to uh, provide something for the children to interact with. This is a prototype, but I can show you some of the features already. The doors open and close on both sides. It has uh, leather seats to actually simulate the leather. It's going to um, most probably come with a modern helmet for the child to wear, and also the uh, the gear. And of course, you you can't have the gear without oops. <laughs> that is gorgeous. Right, and the lights are going to work. It's going to have um, light blinking capabilities, blinkers to turn signal, has a chunk compartment for the child to put um, other belongings in, also to drive on. It's battery operated, and uh, all you have to do is press go with the pedal. Oh, these two. Are these mo this is battery operated? Yeah, I'd be happy to show you how they oh, work. Oh, yeah. These are actually uh, one of our top items at the moment. These are the M5 Super Tank 1 to 6 scale. It has a capability of having an action figure sit in there just like a real driver. And I'll be happy to show you the startup sound. German vehicle right here, the tank, and these are our Marines that just came out in 1 to 18 scale. They all each have their individual faces, characteristics, and personalities. Talk about your company and your products. Okay, we're American Retro. We've been in business for about seven years. And the retro products here. Are the Jalopies, the Giordani Racer, all pedal cars, all metal. There's no plastic in this booth. We uh, do the fire truck as probably our best seller. It's patterned after 1949 Murray. It's built to last. It's extra strong. Pedal, all pedal power. Do the airplane when you pedal it. The power turns for all the little aviators. And uh, we just recently did the Coke machine. It's an exact reproduction of a 1930s Westinghouse Junior.
Second City is a brand new movie coming out April 1st uh, from directors Robert Rodriguez and Frank Miller. Uh, stars Mickey Rourke, Bruce Willis, Jessica Alba, Rosario Dawson, and a huge cast. It's the probably best all-star cast since Pulp Fiction. And a uh, real gritty, violent uh, comic book from the early 90s. And it's coming to screen uh, this April. Ah, talk about product. Hey, uh, the main focus of the product line is the action figures. You've got uh, launching with six different characters. They're available in black and white because uh, the comic and the majority of the movie is black and white. Uh, Michael Clark Duncan as Minute, um, Mickey Rourke as Marv. There will also be uh, color uh, variants um, at a ratio of one per case. Um, that's the yellow bastard right there who's uh, one of the main villains in the film. Um, what you're looking at on the display is uh, we do all of the prototypes at a larger two-up size, about 13 or 14 inches, and then we scale them down to a finished toy size of uh, 7 inches. Uh, there'll also be deluxe figures, 18-inch versions with uh, motion-activated sound chips. Demo one of those for you right now. I think this has the electronics in it. It smells like angels on a smell. It features actual dialogue. There's one damn fine coach you And that's uh, Mickey Rourke with a lot of prosthetics as Mar. Um, the guys from Electric Playground at G uh, Davis uh, Tech Channel. Well, some figure. Oh, there's nothing good about that. If you want, I'll turn that one around. You got to see the back. Oh, absolutely. Oh, it looks gorgeous. Oh, great detail. Holiday of last year. I just noticed it at the uh, Javits Center. Some guy was had it in his display. Yeah, that one's pretty new. Uh, these are brand new. David Carradine and Pi May. They'll be out. Uh, there's director's cuts of the movies coming on DVD this fall, and they'll be out when that comes out. Man, your uh, segment that's coming back. I used to always watch like the Hollywood Minute on Headline News. And yeah. All those big ones you did uh, all have voice chips in them. So if you want me to turn any of them on, it's all motion activated. So if she says one phrase and stops, just move in front of her. She'll do it again. <laughs> Hold on. Too, if you I'd love it. The one thing they never understand is how much work goes into it, making the tooling and the design, and they go, just change it. I don't know how depth in depth you ever get into it, but I think that'd be awesome because a lot of people don't realize how much, you know, how it gets. Our lead sculptor is a guy who lives in Oklahoma, and he's going to be out here in Jersey for a month uh, working. Who's probably uh, just right under him? The two best guys there are. 
see, and then you change the DPI to 300, you'll see what size it changes to. So that. Yeah, we shot seven episodes that air this summer. And if it gets a good reaction, hopefully they'll pick it up. What is it? Sixty skews for the Charlie because we're doing everything from an eighteen-inch action figure to bobbing heads to plush to bookends to prop replicas. You're gonna have a framed uh, replica of the golden ticket with the Wonka bar. Actually, uh, they're gonna be certificates with Tim Burton's signature because Tim oh, really? we work very closely with him, so he's gonna be picking all of the prop replicas. Okay. We can have. Uh, I think we've got more skews in our. We're here in the NECA showroom, and uh, we are a manufacturer of movie collectibles, action figures, prop replicas, uh, plush, um, giftware, houseware, just about everything you can think of. And here at Toy Fair, we have some great licenses from 2005. We're working on Hitchhiker's Guide from the Galaxy, uh, Tim Burton's Nightmare Before Christmas. Rob Zombie's House well, of a Thousand don't, Corpses don't, don't and Devil's Rejects, like, like Gremlin, Sin City, like a lot. Like uh, Pirates of the Caribbean, okay. right. Lord of the Rings, and well, much, much more. <laughs> Good enough. So how's Toy Fair been? Oh my god. The people are just loving up the dolls. It's been 
These are our newest guys. So how's the show going? Oh, okay. And how did you get, did you start this company for this product? We did. We started it um, back in 2003. We started shipping because we love David's characters. This is Wade, the first guy that he created. And right from his little drawing, his girlfriend Simon can turn it into a little stuffed version of the doll. And he's, uh, so he's in partners with his girlfriend? Oh, absolutely. You know, How long have they been together? They've been together since college. They went to Parsons Design School here in the city together. And um, Sun Min went back to live in Korea. David really missed her. And he sketched a little character in an I Miss You letter and signed it David Ugly. And kind of the rest is history. Oh. Uh, uh, how old is he? David's in his 30s. 30 something. Is that how we say it? Come up with the character. Uh, actually, uh, my girlfriend and Min, we've been together for the longest time, and uh, we'd always wanted to make toys and characters together. And when she had to go back to Korea, I sent her many I Miss You letters with uh, my little orange character, Wage, at the bottom. And as a Christmas gift, she sent back a plush 3D version of him. I uh, showed it to a friend of mine who owns the giant robot store in Los Angeles, and he wanted to order or something, and uh, kind of took off from there. Terrific. And we're, how many different characters do you have? Uh, well, now we have 10 or 11 if you count both Ugly Dogs. Ugly Dog is our brand new character for this year. Right. Show us some of your characters. Sure. These guys are brand new. These are the two Ugly Dogs. They were just released. Well, actually, they'll be released this, uh, this March. Do they have stories? Oh, yes, very much so. Yeah, these are the pets for the other Ugly Dogs. A lot of our fans have known about Ugly Dogs somehow, and they're very excited to see them coming out. Cool. And you have large size versions now too? Yeah, uh, we have the, somewhere under here is a very large bottle. And we Wait, have on the, the other side. We have the large wage and ice I'll bag. follow you over there. Okay. So these are the giant ugly dolls. This is a uh, wage and Bob, uh, an ice bag here. Wage and ice bag, the new, brand new giant ugly dolls. Ugly dolls, and you can find them actually right now at FPO Schwartz. I think they have them in the window down uh, Midtown in Boston, uh, in New York City. And you have a whole fan base now? Uh, yeah, we've had since the beginning. Actually, it's going on three years now, and uh, we've had our fans who started when they set found us at the Giant Robot Store, and now it seems to be all over the world. We get emails and drawings from children from all over the world, and it's, it's been a real thrill. You're going to do animation next? Uh, we're working very hard on one, and if it comes out right, then everyone will see it. And what's this figure on your shirt now? Oh, uh, this is Wedgehead. Oh, Wedgehead. <laughs> Wedgehead's very popular. Yeah, he's a friend of Ox. Come on, let's see. Show me some shirts. You hold them up, put it against her. <laughs> Brand new. This is Ox, and they are like naughty friends. Ah. So these characters all get into trouble a lot? They get into a lot of trouble, right? A bunch of trouble. Well, he's Cinco and he's afraid of water. Wait, pick up a tick. Oh, sorry. He's Weiji and he's, he's hard one. <laughs> <laughs> he's always go everywhere with a bubble, which is and everyone matches a doll. This is Bubble. He's like a baby.